Nittany Lion Roar with Extreme Panda here, and I did my costume summons earlier today, so if you haven't checked out the video, make sure to go check it out. But I just had this inspiration, since I got one of the featured heroes, which is Costume Demisha, to go power level her. So let's do that and then take her for a run testing her and see how she is. So this is my Demisha, who's already uh, leveled up, so let's uh, start leveling that costume. Now, I do kind of have a strategy with the costumes that I use to level, and that's to use the non-purple colors pretty early on and then purple later on in order to uh, try to make sure that that special uh, on the left the poison bolt gets maxed. Um, because the one thing with the costumes is they don't take as many resources to max. Now, it should probably still max um, now, but I do want to have some purple saved for if I max the costume but still don't have the special maxed. And then at the end, it's really easy to max the special. All right. So let us start leveling up this costume. Now I have to get rid of all these feeders first. Um, you're going to see me feed some really good extraneous heroes. I went and kind of cleaned things out a little bit. So please don't yell at me too hard when you see me do that. Um, but I am going to be feeding some really, really good heroes away. Um, don't worry, I've saved the good ones. Like, I can feed some Carol's way. I already have a bunch of max ones. Um, but yeah, anyway, here we go. Let's do it. We're going to do non-purple first. Also, the um, you can feed costumes as well. I'm actually going to save costumes for if I have to try and level up the special as well. You can see I'm already getting close to halfway done, and the special's only gone up one time. I think Friar Tuck's costume is cool, by the way. I was checking that out. Okay. So some of the costumes I'm impressed with most that aren't five-star heroes, uh, probably Kirill and Cademan come to mind. Kashrak is really, really good, too. Kashrak's basically a four-star Heimdall for anyone who uh, does uh, isn't aware yet. Go check him out. Um, sorry, I lost my way here. I was just seeing how many heroes I had to see if I could start feeding the one and two star heroes yet. Uh, but I have to get the one and two star heroes from my, um, training camp. Before I get to trainer heroes, I want to feed the four star heroes. I might run out of food first. Oh good, our special is actually leveling pretty well. So that's good. So 
those were some of the new heroes I got that I didn't lock. Okay. So actually, I feel, I feel pretty good about going with purple heroes now. Okay, let's see how far we can get Demisha. And notice we don't actually need the four-star mats for this. We only need the trap tools. So I had mentioned in the summon video that I was low on darts. I don't need darts for costume June and costume Vivica, so that's good. I had totally forgotten that. You don't need those. Uh, so, so this is good. Okay. I'm trying to think about how I can steal some food if I need to. I should go with like, oh, what, wonder how high I can get Demisha if I feed her herself. Yeah, that's not very far. I've got some four star trainer heroes though. This will help me get pretty far. Why? Okay, I don't know. I was just going to ask a question about food, but I think I answered my own question in my head. Okay, so that gets us up pretty far. Let's um, hold off a minute, though. I just want to be food efficient, which some people question what I mean by food efficient here, because basically... Um, you know, the food cost is is pretty pretty similar overall in what how much food it takes to feed a hero resources, but like do you notice how it only takes 37,000 food to get that many levels out of it? So what it means to be food efficient is you feed the lower level heroes first and then you feed the higher level. Um and overall then it takes actually less food. It's just a little bit, but it, it's kind of exaggerated with these costumes. Um, so you, you might have heard me talk a long time ago in other videos about being food efficient. That's what that means. So see how this is 37,500? See how this one's more? Okay, this costs more food. Um, but because there's a lot of trainer heroes and stuff, it's going up 28 levels with only this much food. This last one's going to hurt the most. And that's why I'm saving these trainer heroes for last. Might even be able to get away with... Let's see how... How high can we go? 66. Um, let's do a round of feeding costumes. Like, I don't need um, this costume regard or these two Tabertus. Oh, I've got all these friggin' Priscas. Okay, that gets us up pretty far. And then, oh, where'd she go? So, so again, you can feed costumes to a hero. I'm going to go back here and see if I can max it out uh, with the trainer heroes. Yep, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. I really don't want to use that three-star hero. So let me do this. Let's go to the costume. We'll do... There we go. That gets us there. That's perfectly acceptable. Okay. Barely enough food to do that. Now let's take her for a spin. Make sure to equip her. I think she's really cool. Um, one thing that you're going to notice is that the costume bonus itself gives this attack bonus, defense bonus, health bonus, mana bonus. And the mana bonus means you only need a level 5 mana troop to make her go from basically average speed to fast speed. Um, it doesn't technically change it to fast speed, but you only need to make three matches to set her off with that. Um, notice that that happens whether you use this side of the costume or this side of the costume. Um, now, take a look at her stats. Uh, they went up for both the regular card and the costume card here. These are really nice looking stats on this Demisha. And um, I think this ability is kind of cool. Like this dispelling status ailments thing, first of all, is huge in the game right now uh, with all the grave makers, now Clarissa, Vela, um, you know, well, of course, Teleria. <laughs> uh, so, so that's all really important. Um, also, you can put rogue emblems on her and she'll, she'll get the ranger boost, uh, however you do that. Um, I probably won't be putting emblems on her, but okay, let's take her for a spin and see what that's like. I'm just going to go randomly raiding. In fact, um, I think I'm going to skip my hero chest just to, just to get some hero chesting in, um, I'm just going to do purple teams with maybe like a secondary red. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's go for one, actually. I'm going to use Demisha. So it dispels status elements from the caster and nearby allies. I might be able to get away with not going with regard then. But maybe the two of them together are okay. That's probably okay. And then what, maybe like Gravemaker? Maybe we do something like this. We'll just go 4-1 for fun. I'm not doing this because I think this is particularly good. I just want to test Dimidia out and see what she's like. Um, you know, if we're going to do 4-1, what I might actually do is Ariel. And then let's do costume Quintus. Let's just show off some costumes here. This is just for fun after all. So, so uh, see, I can put the little mana troop on Demisha and the big one on Quintus. And that makes Quintus costume with the level 29 mana troop go from slow to average, and then Demisha is going to go from average to fast. So that's why these troops are important. Okay, let's test her out. Without further ado, again, not doing this because this is good strategy, just I want to play with Demisha a little bit. See if we can get her to fire a couple times. All right, this is good. And you know what? I turned off the, the sounds. We're not going to be able to hear Demisha's special, which is kind of a shame, but 
Okay, we're gonna do Panther, Quintus. Now let's see what Tamisha does. Clear status ailments, so that should get rid of Teleria's effect. Yep, there we go, that's good. And let's just kill Teleria. All right, now watch the shot in the upper right. Let's see, let's see the special in action. All right, how much damage is it doing? 99 poison damage per turn, so that's just like minor. Okay. So she she does she's like a sniper that does a little bit of um, damage over time, but ninety nine poison damage for four turns that adds up. Okay. See if we can get some more purples to come up over here on this side. Darn it. All right, let's see if we can survive Teleria and Ursina here. This might be over quick. Man, when Teleria gets going, she just really gets going, doesn't she? Bye bye, Quintus. At least we get to fire Demisha before we go. Look at all those minions. <laughs> all right, keep going. Hmm. Teleri always just seems to go off one turn too early, always. Because if I could have made that blue match, I could have cleared it. Well, should be able to get Ariel off now, and that's okay. Especially because Slary is going to go off one more time. That was a lot of damage. But this is why Ariel's cool. That's a lot of healing. Okay, let's go after let's craft for Vela. I'm gonna save Demisha for when Vivica goes off. Or not. <laughs> Alright, let's just hit kill air over there. Kill hair. I'm being lazy with my speech.
Oh, I just wasted a special. Okay. Here's another one. Captain Cloud. One, two, I have two purple matches. If I make this purple match on the left, it gives me a chance for a third. If I set off the yellow diamond, what does that do? About the same thing, except it hits the opposing heroes more. I'm just going to go for this, because I think it's safer. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, but we set off the Claria. All right, this will make a purple match. See, isn't Costume Quintus cool too? Um, he is one of my favorite heroes, although now that I have Costume Demisha, I think um, she's pretty cool as well. Uh, I'm not saying either one of these two heroes is the greatest ever. <laughs> That's certainly not what I'm saying. But they're a lot of fun, and I think that they're good, and they're probably going to be underrated. Um, Demisha's effect is, is quite good in the current meta uh, with all the Telerias and damage over time effects. I guess I just did all those specials backwards. That's all right. I really, really like uh, having Demisha be able to clear status ailments in addition to having an off color hero like Ariel that also does the same because I can keep clearing the effects. Like, you need to do that. If they have more than one hero that deals out effects like that, you need to have more than one that you take with you to clear them. Notice how all the teams I'm playing are like <laughs> really similar. Ooh, that's nice. I really thought that was going to kill Gravemaker. Didn't end up mattering. No, don't kill my Demisha. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to show her off right now. Ooh. 
It looks like Demisha's sound is going to be the same. I have this all muted uh, because it's just way too loud. The in-game volume, and there's no way to adjust it. You can't hear anything I'm saying then if I have it on, but... Uh, it looks like she, her, the actual animation is about the same as before, so I bet the sound is the same. Alright, here we go. Ooh, ouch. One purple tile. So what I have to hope here is Ariel can keep my heroes alive. Let's see if I can make a blue diamond out of this. Nope. I messed that up. I should make a yellow diamond, though. All right. I haven't made a purple match yet. Maybe I just wait. Let's set off Gravemaker and then use Ariel. Yeah. Okay. Not too bad. So we're going to clear both these effects at the same time. You already saw how much Ariel heals. Valeria always almost dies, but not quite. <laughs> so it's going to do 99 poison damage. Hopefully this is enough to just kill her, though. I don't want her to heal. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's go with Panther, Demisha, I bet Quintus could have just finished her off, I probably should have done it in that order, that's the thing with me, I get lazy when I'm raiding, <laughs> and um, I'm not, I usually just try to be quicker when I'm raiding because I'm just uh, filling the hero chest. And don't want to spend all day doing it. Um, but then sometimes make lazier decisions. And I just get used to that. Because I'm not looking out for like war, like health aid or arrows or attack boost or anything. We're going to use Demisha first to clear Panther. That cleared the status element. And then that should finish it. Alright. I've got two flags left. Look at that, I just popped into the top 100 for global ranking as well. Let's see if we can keep it there. This is actually a pretty good streak, all things considered. This is certainly not a team I would necessarily think would be synergistic, except that costume Demisha is really, really awesome at clearing status ailments and things. Um, she's, she's definitely saving my butt a few times here, so that's good. I definitely want to test her out in war. I want some more purple tiles before I... Well, let's see here. I have two purple matches. I'm just looking for three. Yeah, it was a risk, but it was worth it. Because I think I got it now. I should be able to set all my purple heroes off. Okay. My other move was going to be to uh, make a blue match. 
to try and bring more purples up, but I think this worked out perfectly fine. Ah, oh, man. Again with the almost but not quite dying thing. So I'm really excited to tell you all today that when I was doing my summons, I got one of, as part of the uh, bonus ascension material summon, I got darts. So that's the last dart I needed to max my own white rabbit. So my white rabbit will be coming to a lineup soon. Probably both in raids and in, in war, I think I'll use him. Um, I have Poseidon right now, uh, and I really like Poseidon. So I don't know if it's much of an upgrade or not, but I think White Rabbit's great. White Rabbit makes all my yellows better too, so I'm excited about that. Okay, what rank am I up to now? 44. We've got one more flag. Let's see if I can get it up any higher. Let's go for chaos and see if we can get some purples to come up from the bottom. All right, that was good timing for Ariel. So this is actually turning out to be a more synergistic team than I thought, too, because alternating Ariel and Demisha has been really effective. And I've been really happy about that. All right. I guess I have to go for the purple match here. Because um, I still get to use all the blues anyway. In that spot very close to setting off my purples here. I wonder if this one tile will set them all off. It's very close. I wonder why I didn't set Demisha off. And why is Teleria still alive? <laughs> okay. I might end up losing this between the Gravemaker, Vela damage, and now Drake. This is not good. One blue match wouldn't have saved me either. Or, or just setting off that blue dragon bomb wouldn't have saved me either. So I needed to try and line up that three if I had any hope. Ooh, ouch. I would just like to kill at least Gravemaker here. Wonder if that defense down to dark is enough to kill Vela. If I set off all the red, that doesn't set off any of the purples. So I can do the purple match at the bottom and hope two tiles kills Vela. I can definitely kill Gravemaker, I think, with the purple match, so I'm just going to be safe and do that. And then hope some purple tiles cascade into Vela here. Hmm. 
and I'm dead. <laughs> but it was a fun ride into the top 100 using Demisha. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with her. I think that uh, she's a really fun hero. Uh, I think she's got a really cool ability. And so I'm definitely a fan of this costume. Um, I hope that uh, whatever you pulled, uh, you have a lot of fun with. There's a lot of great four-star heroes and three-star heroes to have fun with. Um, so, yeah, I think this costume chamber has just been a great addition to the game. Has made it a lot of fun, really revived a lot of heroes, made a lot of heroes that weren't good before good now. Like, I never thought I was going to use Quintus, but I, I do have a lot of fun taking him into battles with him, both on offense, and I use him on my raid defense, too, just for fun. Um, kind of in the slot where Ursina might usually go. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.